One final modification we can do is to try and speed up the algorithm here. The basic idea is that we're doing one of these iterative processes and each time our, we're hopefully getting closer and closer to the actual eigenvalue. Well, what we can do then, since that last thing, the last algorithm we looked at, relied on a shift which was close to the eigenvalue, if we're getting closer and closer to the algorithm, why don't we use our latest guess as to the eigenvalue as that new shift? That way, our shifts are getting closer and closer to the actual eigenvalue, and then the process makes it even closer. The kind of their steps are reinforcing each other by doing that. So here's the basic idea. We take an initial guess, we do an iterative process, we normalize the vector, then we go ahead and find that Rayleigh quotient. Because we've normalized the vector, we don't need to divide by u transpose u, like the original Rayleigh quotient said. So my eigenvector should just, eigenvalue should just be u transpose au. Then we do a inverse power iteration step. We solve a minus that lambda, again using the lambda as the shift, times i, times the vector equals my previous u. Then, however many steps, how many iterations we go through, my final eigenvalue, eigenvector is going to be just normalize my final answer out of that. Again, we're just taking the previous things and putting them together. Using, updating my shift based on the best approximation we have at the time of the eigenvalue. By doing this, instead of getting linear convergence, we get quadratic convergence. This converges much, much faster than just the standard power iteration.